We have game three between the Nets and the Celtics. And the story of the series has been Kevin Durant. He has not been able to get it going. He's turning the ball over. He doesn't look like himself. What is happening? Shout to Grant Williams out there guarding KD. Shout to Al Horford yep. out there guarding KD. How about Jason Tatum has blocked two of Kevin Durant's jumpers in this series? It's crazy. How many times have we watched the easy money sniper shoot the basketball, in particular from mid-range, and it looked virtually unguardable, but definitely unblockable. 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 Right? So why is that happening? Why is that unique precedent taking place? Why is that happening, Mr. Because Rose? Because the Boston Celtics are taking away the airspace. They're forcing him to play in the crowd. And if you notice, when he takes more than two dribbles, then they swarm, they mm -hmm. reach, they steal. And think about the help defenders that I purposely didn't name yet. Jalen Brown and the defensive player of the year, Marcus Smart. Yep. Those are the people they have now patrolling Kevin Durant and turnover. slowing him down. It's not just the missed shots, it's the turnovers. And we were watching his turnovers and you mentioned he dribbles twice and then they swipe. It's, it's, a, it's almost like it's a strategy. They're like, it's a strategy. He dribbles twice, no then question. we swipe. And no it's question. always someone else, not the primary defender. It's Tice or it's Smart or whoever else is around the ball. For example, my little brother, Jamal Crawford, Jay Crossover, got one of the nastiest handles that this league has ever seen. He put that hesitation in his left hand, and you let him dribble it twice, you getting baked. That's the same thing with KD. I'll give you an opportunity to remember two different plays. The same shot he made against LeBron James in the NBA Finals. Walk up three. Correct. Think about the exercise of that play. The muscle memory. He always rock it and then pull it. Yep. When they see him rock it, they reach him. And that's why he's shooting 25% when he dribbled the ball twice and then shoot it. So it's important for him to either catch and shoot, um, uh, catch it either, <clears throat> either catch and shoot or grab and be decisive and make a move and go. But more importantly, the Boston Celtics are forcing the Nets to go against a set defense every time. So he ain't getting no easy ones. He ain't getting none in transition. And let's not ignore this. While we talking about Carl Anthony Towns' bad game, and my bad, my thing about Carl Anthony Towns' bad game is the low shot attempts. That's my problem with that. Yeah. Let's not act like Kyrie didn't just have 10. Oh, yeah. Let's oh, not act oh, like game KD one Kyrie. and Kyrie. Game one, Kyrie was great. They game were one, one, Kyrie was feeding correct. off the crowd, yeah. tearing it up, yeah. hitting big yeah. shots. I need that every night. Game two, Kyrie? I need that every night. What happened to game two, Kyrie? I need that every night. And game three is do or die for obvious reasons. And let me just say the elephant in the room. And, of course, I'd love to see my brother back out on the floor. I wish everybody the opportunity to re return, in particular in the playoffs, because there's so many healthy players. Ben Simmons is not the answer to the Nets in this series. Oh, no. Period. No. If, if and let me play 10 minutes, maybe. And I'm going to tell everybody the reason that no one says. Not only in Philadelphia did he tell them that he has some health issues, clearly, but also he said he has some mental issues that he needed to sort through. The last thing you want a player to be coming back for in almost a year to play basketball is when every inch matters. Mm -hmm. And they foul you the second you come on the court. Every inch matters. Every set play, every mistake, and also your flaws get exposed. And the one thing about the great things that Ben Simmons is gonna bring to the table, his size, his physicality, his pace, his ability to guard multiple positions, but he also has some basketball hurdles also, like not attempting shots outside of the paint not being able to make free throws. So now all of a sudden that becomes the story on the floor versus trying to get KD going, yep. versus trying to get Kyrie going, Seth Curry going, Patty Mills going. Like that's got to be the course of action. So it's going to be interesting to see how they play it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.